Social media is used for everything from staying in touch with friends and family to advertising for business, but it can be a bit overwhelming. So right now we're in the open door green room. My man, personal life influencer and coach Don Fawcett, he's in here. He's going to help you find your inner peace when using social media, especially if you're doing it for business. Stick around for this. All right, now to this. Social media started out as a place for people to stay in touch with family and friends and share moments from their personal life. But it's become so much more, especially for those who run a business. But you have to find a good balance between business and real life, especially online. High-profile personal life coach Dom Fawcett joins us this morning to break down. And really, it is. Finding that balance is, is pretty difficult. It, it, is, it is very difficult, and what I've seen as the CEO of Think React Lead and, and helping entrepreneurs engage their, their audience is that people say, I don't have time, uh -huh. right? And it's, if you're passionate about it, you just post once a day on all different platforms. Now, I've learned that you can use other apps to engage one post to several different places at one time, which is, is great. But that's not where the struggle lies. It's those that aren't sure what to post. Uh, well, you say finding peace in your social media madness, mm -hmm. but most people might argue online, there's not a lot of peace. How do you find it? You, you understand what your messaging is, and you only post the messaging. And most people don't have peace when it comes to posting on social media because they're afraid of being judged. They're not sure what their audience is going to think of them. Once you can remove that, then people will see that you have a message, it's consistent, and your brand and your message match each other. As a business, that's difficult because uh, something you might post might turn off one group, yet uh, be beneficial toward another. And you have to look at it like this. If it makes you feel good, don't post it. Okay. Right? You can't go wrong, wrong with motivation. You can't go wrong with positivity. You can't go wrong with something in your niche. If you're a, a, a long, landscaper, right? then post you doing what you do so people can see what you do. Okay. And nobody's going to knock that. Uh-huh. So, in other words, it's out there champion what you, championing what you do. Right, right. You have to be your biggest supporter along with your family. That helps out as well. But you have to be the biggest supporter for those on other social media platforms to support you as well. But they got to know what it is that you do. Some people out there on social media, they might say, okay, uh, I love what I do. This is fun. Uh, but it's just that. But you say, no. You you can monetize whatever you post. 2019, uh -huh. there is nothing that cannot be monetized. As long as you're the subject matter expert, you could be the subject matter expert in, in crickets, right? Crickets, people pay for them to feed their animals. <laughs> if you talk about them, people will go to you. You're the insect man, right? I'm a speaker. There's a million speakers on this planet, uh -huh. right? But understanding your, your audience, right? But it starts with and we talk about engaging your family. When people see that you're a normal person, and you and I talked about this off, offline, when people see that you're a normal person and engaging into Instagram story and bringing your kids in, that now you don't have to worry about, oh, am I spending too much time away from my family to grow my business? No, you just merge them okay. and make everybody learn what it is that you do. How do you cut through all the noise? Because a lot of people say, you know, if you post too much, then it becomes white noise. How do you cut through that and make sure it's strategic? You post and go. Okay. Right? Most people post and they go check their likes. Or they find themselves on social media platforms. That's, that's not how you grow your business. You post, you go. You're specific in, in your messaging and you go. Don't look at it as noise. Look at it as consistency, right? As I mentioned earlier, when I first started doing this, I only had a couple hundred of followers on my Instagram and I had to ask to speak on stages. Now, I don't have to ask for clients three years later. So go the long road and focus on what it is you do. Those that will see you grow, they will follow you. How important is it to interact with those who comment and, and post you know, back towards you or have questions? Not responding is not an option, right? If you want to grow your brand, grow your audience, you want to be seen as a real person, when somebody says hello to you in the street, you say hello back. When somebody says your post is awesome, you reply back. Right, when people direct message you, as long as it's a normal direct message, you reply back. You don't have, to, now you dictate when you reply. Right. You don't have to do it immediately. Do it when it's comfortable for you. All right, great information. Thank you very much. Where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram at domfawcett or domfawcett.com. All right, promoting us all. Love it. Thank you. Thank you.